Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross. Uh, last time we fought the Earth Dragon and the Creo Sphinx, and now we're gonna continue on our dragon killing tour. Well, it said we fought the Creo Sphinx. We fought them. Like there were there were blows exchanged. More like we survived the Creo Sphinx using probably a cheap tactic. Hey, it worked. And now we've got some shades. We do. My future's so bright, I have to wear shades. Terrible joke. I, I apologize for that one. I really feel like I should fall upon my own sword for that joke. <laughs> and the sad thing is, there's so many people that won't get it because that song is so dated. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, we're uh, going to the water dragon. So we've we killed two, like official dragons, like excluding yes. the Creo Sphinx. We've killed the the black dragon and and, and the yellow the, dragon. The yellow dragon. So we're going against the blue water dragon. Right. And we've got the fire dragon. Yep. And the the light and the dark dragons. We fought the dark dragon. We have the oh, light. Fought, yeah, okay, yeah. The light and the green dragon. Light and the green dragon. For so we'll we'll fight a dragon that will use our own special tactics against us and throw rocks from space at us. <laughs> yeah, but he he wants to fight us last. I actually don't even. I, I was telling you about this earlier. Like I don't remember some of these dragon fights. Like I should remember the green dragon fight specifically because hey, I can heal myself. I don't remember how much of a dick you are. That concerns me. Yeah. Same with the the light dragon. Oh. Would, what? the hell? It's a giant enemy crab! Um... Uh, that's we're not We're just creepy. going to ignore you, because I have a feeling we have to fight this one anyway. Yeah, because he's not moving. He's yeah. just hanging out there. Those are creepy. I don't remember those either. Yep. The sidestepper. We can actually doppelgang into these. Oh, really? Yeah. Are they useful? I have no idea. I'd imagine so. I mean, they're pretty high level. They look like, you know, combined nightmares of a crab and a spider. And apparently they have, you know, decent evasion, because he evaded uh, Orcha. Yeah, a little bit. I wonder if uh, the, the name Sidestepper has something to do with... <laughs> The, you're not gonna hit me, Steppa. Oh, no. It no. could. It could. He's half dead, so. Yeah. And the Lynx does still have the forget me, forget me not pot. So. So, hey, we got this. Yeah. And our Pokeball. You have to damage it first. It, it just straight up died. Didn't even take damage. Black hole is super effective. Well, that was, um, certainly a thing. That is actually something that I would love to see. I would love to see Square Enix teaming up with, uh, Game Freak for a Pokemon Square Universe crossover. Wouldn't you like to see Cloud what? with Pokeballs? <laughs> Why not? They've crossed Final Fantasy over with everything else. Yeah. With itself was the best one. <laughs> you have Dissidia. Yeah, yeah. Freaky-looking water dragon. He's he's very colorful. And all I can think about is the uh, the thing about the uh, the rainbow sea slug. <laughs> yeah. The uh, that was um, Final Fantasy VI boss. Yes. Yeah. Was it six? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I still to this day get confused with what really is six and what, like, numbers, man. Ah, uh, the joys of living in America where we can't, you know, just keep things straight. We just gotta keep futzing with things. Okay, I think I need to have Lynx, like, not attack him for now, or he's just going die. to die. So let's try the, uh, two fire nades that we brought. 
Because we actually thought ahead into this battle strategy. Yeah, we've got Orcha that's more equipped as a magic user, and Miki is more on the physical side and also evasive. Which is hilarious, because you would not expect that from their physical appearances. Like, Orcha seems to be, you know... I would imagine him more of a tank, especially wearing, you know, a stir-fry pot on his back as, yeah. as armor. Well, the problem is, Orcha's just kind of better, both physically and magically, than Miki, so yeah. I, I just kind of had to pick, like, which one. Because we are kind of limited in, to what equipment slots we can actually give them to boost certain stats. Yeah, she's doing all right physically. And the fire pillar. Mm, roasted water dragon. <laughs> this might kill someone. Probably not, though. I was about to say, eh, I doubt. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of hurt, hurt a little bit, but. And it put um, something. Burns. No, he's no, he's got burned. I'm like, we've got the flu. the flu. Oh god, yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, be walking all over the place like you're drunk. Let's just toss out our cover all for now, though. Links, go home. You're drunk. <laughs> And I do love that this is such a, you know, relaxing, calm fight to beat the crap out of an Elder Dragon. This music just kind of, you know, so mellow, so calm. Yeah. Well, you know, the water just kind of puts you at peace. Well, right before you drown. <laughs> uh, like the robot chicken sketch with uh, Mr. Rogers getting shocked because the water's too close to the electric train tracks. Like, I thought we were going to solve this problem. And then Mr. Rogers drowns the, the, the technical aid in the little pot. It's like, solving a problem. Solving a problem. And then he stops me like, problem solved. I don't know why. I think it's just my love of Mr. Rogers that I find that skit so amazing. Because I, it's completely not feasible in the realm of existence. Sexy Link. Oh. Make any foe go gaga. I, I, I think we have to do the sexy wink. We, we gotta wink at the dragon. That's not a wink. She blew a kiss at her. Her? I don't know. I don't know the gender of the dragon. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Our, I was not expecting that. That, um... I was not expecting damage. Like yeah. 200. Yeah. And yeah, this dragon's already nearly dead. Sunglasses plus Master Moon. It, it, it's broken. Yeah. And another Tsunami Beam. But we're all at full health, so whatever. Orchard just gets the flu. Don't care. Beat you with a frying pan. Let's see if we can't do another tech. Head bopper. I love that we're using the ones that seem very comedic on the dragon and. <laughs> Alright, so it's like a uh, triple kick from Isla. Yeah. I was just thinking it was kind of like one of um, Flea's techs, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it kind of is. No, not Lynx. You'll kill it. Lynx, you'll make the fight too easy. It's already nearly dead anyway, so... And using Deluge... Deluge? Deluge. Deluge. Yes, let's eat the dragon. What? Going to put you in a pot like Kirby. I was about to say, I so know where Kirby's final smash came from. Delicious. We ate him. We ate his heart to gain his power. 
Oh my god, that makes orchids so much creepier. It's like... I will eat the water dragon's heart and gain its courage. It's like orchard... No, that's not how it works. It's <laughs> totally how it works, Lynx. Don't make me eat your heart. But, yeah, like, y you can see here that Orch is just kind of there. better yeah. than Miki. Just all around general stuff. I mean, the well, like, strength and magic is better. Yeah, but... accuracy and agility. Yeah. It it's Miki, but, you know. We got the hey! blue whale. We can summon... It's a whale. We sank their battleships. And their whales. Yeah. And we can't actually use it yet, because we don't have level 8s. Unless we gained one there, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Lynx got one, and so did Mickey. But I don't know who else got one. But uh, definitely not a level 8 for either of them. Lynx got, like, yeah. level 3, yeah. So nothing special. Yeah, both level 3, so... Alright, well, that was, uh, the Water Dragon. Uh, let's keep going and get the Fire Dragon, since we know where he's at. Alright, here we are in another world, uh, Mount Pyre, and it looks like something's blocked off the other side, so we can't just pass Yo, through. Here, yeah. <laughs> Expectations are completely blown away. Yeah. But we should be able to just run through here. Yeah, it's not like anything in here is really going to be a threat. Nah. Onward and upward. Avoiding the creepy-eyed dogs. And the giant lava boys. Yeah, you know, something that large. You wouldn't think those wings would actually be able to lift it. Stop moving, dog! But like a real dog, I have to run around psychotically. Always underfoot. Alright. Is that the fire dragon? That is the fire dragon. Okay. You got anything else to say? Hi. That's very interesting. Okay. I'm, I'm stuck in the lava. Bye. Well, that's, that would be the exit. Um. And it's blocked off. Okay. So, I guess we need to get to the lower level? Yep. Let's see if we can make that happen. What about you? Can we talk to you? No? Okay. You're just walking around. Doing your thing. Okay. Well, supposedly, the way to the lower level is uh down this way. But it didn't seem like we could go this way in the homeworld pyre. So we'll have to see what happens. Crazy dog! Crazy dog! Going to fight off crazy dog. Fair play to the queen. Okay, so here the, the lava isn't frozen. So we can go through here. If we can... I guess we have to go further down? Yeah. Have to go that... Ew. That's a thing. That is... Well, now we know what not to do. Yeah. Trial and error procedures.
Okay, so even though we want to go to the right, we have to get there by going down. And we get a magma bomb, which is... So useful. Yeah. And now we're all at 1 HP. So now we know how to get there in the other world now, too. Yeah, but like I said, in, in Homeworld, all that's still frozen. Yeah. So we can't actually go that way. We can't go back up to the top and go down that way to go... Right, because the doorway that I just went through is frozen. Ah. It just seems weird that they would completely close off something like that. Yeah. To where you wouldn't be able to get it afterwards. I mean, there's a bunch of treasures that once, like, once you freeze lava, it's it's done. Like the uh, red brooch. True. Unless that's it right there, maybe we can still get it. I don't think so. No, I think the red brooch is in the, the other world. Yeah. Because it was in the map that I was originally looking at to try to get where we needed to go. Can we go up this? Oh, we can go up this. At great expense to your health. Yeah. God forbid you don't hold directly forward. And oh, great! Yeah, that was so worth the. Uh... This is why the Pendragon sigils are just not worth it. <laughs> Fuck these dogs. Okay, so now we're to the dragon. And we got the nice tranquil music again. Yay, tranquil music. Okay. Oh, hey, Fire Dragon. Oh, so that's your, uh, your yeah, pet, that's, huh? that's Salamander. I don't want to go with those people. <laughs> don't make me. I'm allergic to cats. Oh, hey, we don't get the call music. Yeah. I All like right. the juxtaposition between the dragons. Yeah. And this one has... he's got a spear, he's, he's learning how to use tools. <laughs> Let's see what I read. Marcy's got. String phone. Ring ring. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, sure. We, we've seen Irene, so we know what she's got. That was rather disappointing for a single target. Yeah. On an opposing element. Come on, Irene. Is... Get it together. Get your head in the game. I'm gonna go for a frog prince. Because why not? What? Oh. He's doing something. He's evolving! This isn't even his final <laughs> form. So, Mega Charizard <laughs> showed up, and... He's gonna be a party pooper, that's what he's gonna do. Yep, that's what he's gonna do. Whatever. Once he once he does something, he's getting hit with a frog prince. Fire breath. Okay. Oh my there, god. There you go. That's how you do a fucking attack. <laughs> Let's 
let's wake Marcy up. <laughs> Never mind about the frog prince. That's that, that's not happening. That's not happening. No, ah, fuck this targeting. It's been a little while since we've played, so I've kind of forgotten how it works. Even if you or remember how it works, how it, it looks backwards. Your first instinct is target the glowing box. Yeah. Play a tune to yourself. Play a sad song. Not bad. Geared status. Yeah. That's actually pretty well done. Yeah. And she's also got cat cat's cradle, which you know, we've seen, but, uh, let's go and throw that out there. You've got two blue. Oh, no. but a red. Yeah. And Marcy's dead. Oh, no. no. <laughs> That's the shitty fire breath again. I've got a crappy fire breath and a devastating fire breath. Take a guess on which one it's going to be. Alright, I, I think we've seen enough of this dragon. Yeah. Yeah. He just keeps pulling up surprise. <laughs> 680! Really? It's like, alright, Link's enough. Kill it. And iceberg to the face. Yeah, pretty much he's tall enough that that was kind of an iceberg to the face. And the shitty fire breath again. All it does is burn things. Deluge plus two. Yeah. The Marcy's set up more for uh, physical attacks than magic. Yeah. She's also set up to, for evade, which is completely useless here. It's kind of disappointing. Yeah, because now that he's switched to this form, he's not really doing melee attacks. It's all text. Yeah. I really should get those traps off of Link's. Probably. Whoosh. Have you ever launched a giant red dragon into the sky? Out of a volcano, so that he lands <laughs> back in the volcano? And that... <laughs> that killed him. Yep. Oh, he fell over. <laughs> he, he just really had to sell that death. He did. He... Oh! Ah! Oh, dead. And 33, 33 stars. Everyone got a couple of stat-ups at least. Marcy... Yeah. A little disappointing on her stat ups. Yeah, well, you know, it's Marcy. Yeah. Red Relic. Anything else over here? Yep. No. No. Okay. It looks like there's light coming from here, but there's no exit. Exit. So I guess we're just gonna have to walk back out. Yeah, we gotta go out the way we came. But anyway, I think that's a. Uh, it's pretty good. We killed two dragons. Wait, where did he... where did he go? He vanished. He's not sticking around. He got beat. Alright then, yeah. The red dragon went somewhere. 
And uh, we've got four out of six relics. So next time we'll figure out where the green dragon is. And kill him. And kill him. Yes. <laughs>